Good morning, happy Thanksgiving. Yes, I know, I look just like a man. This is what it looks like when there's no gel. <laughs> I just woke up. I'm not feeling good. See, look how puffy my eyes are. I think I'm catching, I'm getting the flu. But I have a lot to do in the next couple of days, so I'm going to have to pack on some makeup. Look at this. This is looking like I can't take this without that. Like this. She hates it. Look at this. She hates it. Okay. But she's still her little boyfriend. Oh, that's about her boyfriend? Her boyfriend is a retired greyhound. His name is Fonzie. And they sniff each other. It's bling. Look at that. But anyway, I just wanted to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Oh my god, I look terrible. I'm just feeling so sick. But I have to make, I have to make my, because Kiana has her world famous. This is from my bonnet. I hate that. Oh, see, this is what I mean about my. I'm going to do like this. I don't have nothing. I don't Oh. Alright, um, I'm going to be making my world famous macaroni and cheese. I'm actually making six pounds of it because I have to make um, four for today. And tomorrow, um, my cousins are having a, they're not having Thanksgiving um, today. We're having um, a Thanksgiving family get together. There's some of my cousins that I haven't seen in about 20 years. And uh, my dad is going. My dad doesn't go to anything. So he's going. He's the eldest. He'll be the eldest of all of the generations there. Yeah. Um, and so um, I'm making macaroni and cheese for that. I, I haven't made macaroni and cheese in years because everybody loves my macaroni and cheese so much. It's, it, they were like, you know, people were paying me to make it. And I. I'm at the stage in my life, I was saying this when Tina was talking about cooking in double ovens and extra, two extra ovens and, yeah. <laughs> ah, mm. no, no, no. See, for me today, I can have a big bottle of wine, somebody can bring me a plate, or I can make a little turkey, a little turkey breast, and I like the breast meat, and I inject it and do all that stuff, I don't like the dark meat, like and um, I always, you know, my turkey always come out, uh, Nice and juicy. That could be a ham steak. That that's there's only three of us here. We don't need a whole lot of food, and I don't like a whole lot of food. Um, and I would be happy as a clam. But my best friend has been living up here for longer than I have. We must be up here almost twenty years. I've been up here ten years. Um, and uh, she from she has MS, and um, for a few years now she hasn't really wanted to entertain to the gorgeous house big pool and just gorgeous spread and try to take some pictures today and um for years she hasn't really felt up to doing anything and this year she decided she wanted to do Thanksgiving so she started playing just in September and so everybody's bringing something and so I said I would make some macaroni and cheese so I got um because I'm very OCD I make each pan separately I don't make a big batch and then it's just weird. Like I make a pound and I put whatever goes in that pound in, and I put that in, and then I put another pound. It's a little bit time consuming, but I want everything to taste exactly the same. So I'm not. Yeah, don't don't judge me. It's good. It comes out like creamy, like a pudding. Plus, it's a combination of a couple of recipes. Um, a really good uh, friend in the family that called my my aunt um, down in uh, in the city and. Uh, I got a piece of her recipe, a piece of my grandma's recipe, a piece of stuff that I came up with myself. So it's really delicious and extremely fat. So I'm not going to be doing that because, you know, that's not my channel. I don't do it. I can't cook with one hand. I can't even talk on the phone while I'm cooking. So, um, yeah, I feel bad, though. I do. I feel, I don't feel chills or anything. I just feel really tired. But I have coffee. I just feel. Uh, dinner's not till five, so.
And see, I have one my um my role. And see, she was I'm a little bit further in the country than she is. She's more of an actually we kinda almost in the same type, but they've built more houses where she is. They cleared land and built another more houses, I think, where she is. But I could conceivably go to her house in my bathroom right now and like not even ever like hit a highway and bring her the macaroni and cheese, which I think I'm gonna do. Yeah, it's not it's nothing for us to just like show up and tell the time to knock McDonald's because it's just you know, it's a lot. It's you don't ever really have to see anybody, like you on the back road. You know, you just like on the back road unless something unless something happens. You on the back road. You know, I could just roll up to my house with my hood and my macaroni and cheese, boom, 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 and be back home, my coffee. So I think that's what I might do. Um anyway. I have a big part. I have more homework to do. I have my mouth is dry, y'all. I'm sorry. I just don't know. Then y'all can thumbs it down. I really don't care because you know I clean up well. I got some stuff going on with my son. My son's not here. Yeah, he could, he's not here. Um, for Thanksgiving. He was supposed to be, but do some stupid choices that he made. He's not able to be here. And because of the stupid choices that he made and the stupid choices that he has continuously made, um, I have to muster the strength to let him be and let him find his way and let him find his bottom and make his way back up. And that's hard, but I have to do it because his father and I have um, continuously uh, patched up and fixed his, his, uh, errors in judgment. And these errors in judgment, you know, after a while you make one, okay, you make two, okay, you make three, that's your choice. So he's made some choices that have led him to not be able to spend Thanksgiving with his family this, this year. And, um, hopefully this is a lesson. That will, um, down with him, and hopefully he'll be able to uh, come up. He's 19 years old. I know people who were on their own when he was 16. You know, he's had everything: new car, college, money in his pocket, nothing that he didn't have to worry about anything. Tutors was on the football team that kicked off the football team. Fell into just wanting to do bad boy stuff, and bad boys get locked up. And then if you decide on your own that you're going to bail yourself out, then you need to have some place to go. You're not coming here. So he's basically wandering around. And that's, he needs to go to a shelter. I'm not, I can't, um, he's making his own decision. And if you make your own decision, then you have to deal with the consequences of those decisions. It's in God's hand. I have to have let it go. Um, I ask that you're not supposed to, you know, like if I put this out there, I'm supposed to be prepared for whatever comes back, but I just ask for gentle uh, comments, please, because I thought long and hard about this, and there's a lot more to the story than I'm not saying, so I don't need the I'm the bad mother thing, I've, I've done that enough to myself, um, I don't need that you should help him, I don't need any of that, because you don't know the story, you don't know the cost of the oil, in my alabaster box. Namaste.